This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating cool effects in Motion 5. In this excerpt, I'll show you some cool effects you can do with masking. Let's bring in this clip, which is our girl dancing on the bridge. Squeeze this down. Scale it. Hold the Option key down so it scales from the center. Hold the Shift key down so it scales <laughs> proportionately, otherwise we'll make her look weird. And we'll fit that to the window. Okay, she is dancing and having a good time. All right, now I'm going to select the clip, go to the mask, and this time I'm going to select a B spline mask. B spline mask allows me to create magnets that attract and I touch the first one. What these do is they, they attract the B spline. They're like magnets. See how they attract it? But they make it really easy to create a curved blob-like shape. The Beziers are really good for straight lines, but this is much better for creating blobs. Well, here's the part that I really love. Let's, uh, let's create a new group. Right mouse click, new group, drag it down so it goes underneath. We'll call this background. And notice that I've got the folder selected, even if I can't spell it. Background, good. Got the folder selected. And here we'll go back to the library, go to Backgrounds, and go down to Gold Pond, and drag Gold Pond. And notice as I drag it directly in, the folder has a white line. It now puts that behind it. Okay, so I've created this blob-like thing with video behind it. Let's take it farther yet. Select this, go to the Inspector, go to the properties, go all the way to the bottom, and turn on drop shadow. Show, because you know how to do that. Set our drop shadow percentage to 90%. I'm just click hold and dragging up and down. Set the distance to about 10. Set the blur a little bit softer. And now we've got this cool drop shadow. Finally, select the shape. Go to the behavior. And with the behavior there, go to shape oscillate shape. What this does is this automatically manipulates the shape. Let's just uh, de-click everything here. This manipulates the shape and look at how our blob changes over time, not only as she's dancing, but the blob itself is changing shape. If I drag this back and forth, see? Look at that. We've got a background that's moving, I've got a dancer that's moving, I've got a blob that's moving. And what did it do? Take me 30 seconds tops to be able to do this. Nice drop shadow to separate. This is really cool. If you're looking for ways to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. This means you've got access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering cool effects inside Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 94. Thanks.